Hello, I'm Nicole Wilson. A 52-year-old security guard is on the run after allegedly stabbing to death his common-law wife, 50-year-old Maureen Johnson, and setting her house ablaze in Buff Bay, Portland, Tuesday night. The two reportedly had a long-standing domestic dispute. Director of the Road Safety Unit in the Ministry of Transport, Knut Hare, says the country will not meet its target of keeping road fatalities below 300, which he says is projected to increase. The unit, in its latest crash report, has indicated that 276 persons have been killed in traffic crashes since the start of the year. The Moravian Church in Jamaica and the Cayman Islands has broken its silence, two years after one of its pastors admitted to having sexual intercourse with a person under 16 years old. In an advertisement in today's Gleaner, the church outlined a number of initiatives it has implemented to prevent similar occurrences. The university lecturer, who had promised to give needy students his approximately $3 million in basic salary annually, had his contract terminated by the University of the West Indies UWI Mona amid questions about his mental state. Dr. Rene Williamson, who is trained as a chemical and biomedical engineer, was expected to take up his appointment August 1 on a three-year contract. In sports, head curator at Sabina Park Michael Hilton says West Indies and India players can expect a green top pitch for their second test, which bowls off at the venue on August 30. In your currency trading today, one US dollar was being sold for $136.06, the British pound sterling for $165.05, and the Canadian dollar for $103.50. In your weather forecast, on Thursday morning, there will be partly cloudy skies. In the afternoon, expect mostly cloudy skies with scattered showers and thunderstorms over central and western parishes and inland areas of eastern parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Nicole Wilson.